Okay, today we're going to look at using uh, SketchUp, a program um, which is free to download um, off the internet and application, um, which is a great computer aided design tool. Um, one thing that to use SketchUp I'd recommend is um, in putting a mouse um, into your computer and using a mouse to use SketchUp. It just makes moving around your design much more easy to do. With the mouse, you can scroll in and out using the wheel on the mouse. You can orbit around your um, design by clicking down on the wheel of the mouse, and you can pan from side to side by holding shift and clicking down on the wheel of your mouse. Um, what we're missing here on the side is uh, some tools. So what we're going to do is go view, tool palette, large tool set. And that's going to provide us with um, a range of tools that we're going to need today that are not across the top of your computer. What we're going to do is look to make a key tag, um, three-dimensional, that we can use a 3D print export as an STL file to use the 3D printers to print. So we're going to start by using the uh, square tool and just simply uh, clicking on your page and dragging out, you'll drag a square out along the axis. You can see we've got different axes in red, green and blue and the size of the shape that we're drawing will come up in the bottom right hand corner. We're just going to type in uh, 80, 45 and by clicking enter we're going to get the size of the base of the key tag that we're wishing to produce today. Uh, the next tool we're going to look to use is the push pull tool which is this one over here and we're going to use that by clicking and dragging up and typing into the bottom right hand box three millimeters which is the size of the base that we wish to create. Next thing we're going to want to add to our name tag or key tag is a little bit of text. So over here we've got three dimensional text as a tool on the left hand side which brings up a text box and we're going to type in, you can type in your name or any um, text that you'd wish to have on your key tag. I'm just going to type in CS4HS, uh, which is a Google um, conference that I'm at next week. And we're just going to place, uh, and then we've got a box here that's ticked extruded because we want it to be two. Uh, three-dimensional, we're just going to extrude our text um, two millimeters and then click in place. Now we get a bit of differentiation here between uh, PCs and Macs. On your PC you can type in the size of the text that you wish to put on your page in, in height or length. With a Mac we don't get that option but by placing it on the page and zooming in we can see we've got a, a very small um, text that we've managed to put on our page. By clicking at text um, and selecting the um, draw tool or expand tool, holding shift I'm just going to draw that um, writing out to be the size that I like it to be. By holding shift what I'm doing is, um, while dragging it out, is keeping it at that 2mm um, height on my page which is important. I'm just going to position that, get it to the size that you wish and position it on your page or on your object that you, if you make a mistake it's just a matter of pressing Control Z um, to undo anything that you've done or are unhappy with. Okay, I'm just going to draw that out a little bit more. give me something looking like that. Okay, next thing we're going to want to do is put a little bit of a um, design in the top right hand corner and a hole through that to um, insert our key tags or our key rings. So um, what I'm going to do is just draw using the tape measure tool over here on the left hand side. I'm just going to use a, get a bit of accuracy here and accuracy here and come down to page 25 millimeters. 
um, which comes up in the bottom right hand corner. Clicking enter, I get a bit of a reference point to where 25 millimeters is. I'm just going to do that again on the top. Enter. And using the square tool again, and those reference points, I'm just going to draw a square in the top right hand corner. Using the push pull tool now, what I'm going to do is recess this square in to create a bit of a uh, depth or a bit of an interesting design. I'm just going to uh, draw that in one millimeter in, in height. Fantastic. Next thing we want to do is um, put a hole in our key tag for, um, for our key ring to go in. So using the circle tool and clicking on my page, I'm going to put a six millimeter, uh, three millimeter radius, which will give me a six millimeter diameter circle through the center of uh, that square design that I've created. And using the push pull tool, I can drag that away um, till we get it. To a position where it says on face. And you can see now I've got a hole that goes straight through my key tag design. Perfect for when um, I print my key tag on the 3D printer. I'll be able to put a key ring through that hole. Um, next thing I want to look at doing is creating um, some curved corners. To do that we can use a tool over here um, which is the two point arc tool and just clicking on the surfaces or the edges and then dragging um, dragging the arc tool out till it says tangent on edge I can create uh, rounded corners here. And we'll do that on all, we'll do that on three of the corners. Wonderful. Now what I'm going to do is get myself in a position where I can see the uh, two surfaces of my corners. And using the push-pull tool again, I'm just going to drag those edges away until they disappear. If you make any mistakes whatsoever, just press Control Z and it'll take you back and you can um, redo, try again. Okay, and there we have it. We've just got a simple key tag design, a little bit of intricacy, a um, little bit of shape with, uh, with some different levels in the key tag. Um, so yeah, what I'd like you to do now is um, have a play with some of the tools on the side of your... Um, SketchUp program, create an interesting key tag design for yourself to 3D print. From there, to get it to uh, export as an STL file for your 3D printer, it's just a matter of coming up to File, dropping down to Export STL. If that doesn't appear on your computer program, it's just a plugin from the Google SketchUp warehouse, um, which, which is here. You can look up 3D warehouse and um, find find that plugin. Thank you.